All right, stop sign, reveal yourself. Oh, it sees you. It says we've recently done a software update and now in the little driver visualization thing, we can see bins, we can see traffic lights, and we can also see stop signs, which I'm very excited about. So we are approaching some traffic lights here. So if you take a look at the map, you should see them pop up. There they are. So they've popped up from quite a distance. Oh, and also arrows. You can see that there are arrows on the screen as well. I'd forgot to mention those. But basically autopilot behavior hasn't changed at all. So if the car's on autopilot, it won't automatically stop at these traffic lights. But this is basically Tesla proving that they can see and they can understand the traffic lights. Because when the traffic lights turn to green in real life, they will also turn to green on this little map. And honestly, this is just incredibly impressive. So I'm gonna zoom in nice and close and we are gonna wait for the traffic lights to turn green. So you can watch for yourself how instant it actually is. Oh, it's gone to green. There we go. So it's gone to green, and you can see it's gone to green on, on the car visualization as well. Very, very cool. Right, let's see if we can find ourselves some wheelie bins. You know I love my wheelie bins. Hey, by the way, we upload every Wednesday and Saturday on this channel, so uh, if you do end up liking this video, please do subscribe. Cheers. Traffic lights show up from really far away, actually, which is pretty good, because you wouldn't think that they'd be able to. But anyway, it is bin day which is fantastic because wheelie bins now show up on the map. So we're just gonna have a little drive around this residential area and see if we can find ourselves some bins. Okay, we are approaching a bin over on the right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna park up. There's the bin. Look at that. Is that two bins in one that it thinks it is? Or is that just what it thinks a bin looks like? Oh, look at our car from this angle. I've never put the car like that. That is absolutely unreal. But yeah, anything that's bin shaped does seem to show up on the map. I see a bin down there. Oh my God, look at that. It's bin central. Right, we're heading down there. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Wait for the bins to show up. Oh, this is unbelievable. Right, bin right here on our left. Look at that. Yeah, it did seem to think that that previous bin was two bins sort of inside each other for whatever reason. But this bin right into our left. I mean, that's a very accurate representation. It's even got the wheels in the right place and everything. Let's go check out these couple of bins up over here. <laughs> There's so many bins. <laughs> this is amazing. Right, I've never been down here, so I apologize if I do any poor driving. But look at all of those bins. This is fantastic. Let's reverse. Do the bins show up in reverse? They absolutely show up in reverse. Right in the middle of the road, but we're okay, I think. There it is. There's our four bins. Look at that. Four bins right there. Four bins right here. This is unbelievable. Look at those bins. <laughs> so as I said at the beginning, the car now recognizes stop signs as well. Trouble is... Oh, there is a car. That was... Jesus <laughs> Christ, I thought she was going right into me. Let me get out of the middle of the road because my life just flashed before me. <laughs> but basically, the car now recognises stop signs as well. Issue is, there aren't really any stop signs in the UK because in the UK, we use these things called giveaway signs, which is like the UK version of a stop sign. So seeing as there aren't any stop signs in the UK, I've bought me own. Now, I'm going to be honest, when I ordered this, I thought that it was actual size and I'm kind of regretting my 899 purchase because it's absolutely tiny. But what we're going to do is we're going to have a drive about. We're going to find somewhere nice and quiet. Then I'm going to force poor Becky to stand outside with the stop sign and we'll see if it shows up in the car's visualization thing. Another traffic light right in front of us. This is showing up beautifully. So what we'll do is we'll see if we can see how instantly it changes to green on the little visualizer. We've also been keeping an eye out for the new road markings when we're en route. It seems like it doesn't show anything that's terrible. So for example, when it says slow in the road, that doesn't show up, but it seems like arrows are showing up really, really well, which is very impressive. Um, but green. Green. I reckon you were slow there. I think it turned green faster than that I was watching. You got distracted there. Oh, a wheelie bin. <laughs> cones are all showing up. The cones have been showing up for a while. It, it shows up cones exceptionally well. Look at all of the cones. This is unbelievable. Okay, we're nearing our, our usual little lake car park where we'll be testing the stop signs. All right, we're approaching the train um, and to a computer, these could potentially look like traffic lights. Oh, the, um, do you see the pull-in arrows? I don't know if you managed to catch those, but yeah, are these showing up as traffic lights? I think they are. Oh, so what happened there was it showed up in the distance, but then it looks like when we got closer. There we go. Oh no, it has showed back up. And because it's flashing, is it flashing on and off? It, it, it did a little bit of a flash, but it seems to have stuck to red. So yeah, that's showing up as a traffic light at the minute, even though it's uh, obviously not a traffic light, which is very interesting. It's only the one that's showing up though. The one over on our right isn't showing up. But yeah, obviously this isn't a practical update, but it's just showing what the car can see and what it's going to be able to understand in the future. Because if it can see these traffic lights, then in the future, it's gonna be able to stop when the traffic lights are on red and it's gonna be able to start traveling again when the traffic lights are on green. And the fact that it shows the arrows on the road I think is uh, is really impressive. Oh look, look at this, that's amazing. 
it's now showing up as two traffic lights and <laughs> they are flashing <laughs> on and off red. That is absolutely unreal. Here we go, Becky's big moment. Could you have the stop sign hidden until you get to a good spot like just over there and then reveal it and we'll see if it shows up on the map or not. Right, I'm gonna open the windows. Becky's there. All right, stop sign, reveal yourself. It can't, oh, it sees you. How, that, I mean, that is ridiculously small, but there's our stop sign moving about so it's kind of flashing because she's shown it all over the place but it is showing up right just hold it <laughs> oh it sees becky as a person so i'm gonna reverse while she's right in front oh my god oh. i may have reversed into a tree is my is my car okay yeah you just broke a branch okay no problem <laughs> I'll blame you standing too close with your stop sign. 100% <laughs> Right, there's our stop sign. There's our Becky. If we go forward, you can see our stop sign. So it's difficult to kind of get near at the stop sign. So let me try driving forwards. Yeah, there it is. So the stop sign just shows up as like the outline of a stop sign and I can't get any closer to it. So Becky, if you suddenly turn it to go, let's see what happens. Right, it's still there. So now if you just like go over to the right, so the stop sign stays in place. Because obviously real stop signs don't just walk about, which I guess makes sense. Becky, if you could do what you were doing before, where you're just like moving around slowly with the stop sign. Let's see if the stop sign up. Yeah, there we go. The stop sign is on the move again. So I just need to get into drive. I'm going to very carefully reverse this time. <laughs> and if we get back into drive, where's our stop sign? There it is. So it can see Becky as a person. It's, it's kind of confused as to what's going on. That is absolutely incredible. Pardon? The it briefly sees you in the sign. There's there's your little stop sign, look. Oh. That is so good. Okay, I think what we need to do is I need to drive on autopilot with the stop sign on the side of the road, like a real stop sign. Exactly. <laughs> there's human Becky with her stop sign in hand. <laughs> right, I apologize for the terrible angle. But obviously, I don't want to be holding the camera while we drive and I didn't bring the GoPro. But what I'm going to do is Becky is stood further down the road. I'm going to drive slowly and engage autopilot when I can. So I can engage autopilot. I'm going to slow the speed right down. We'll see if it sees the stop sign. It did not see the stop sign. So I'm going to pull back in. Right, I've turned autopilot on. Lowering the speed as fast as I possibly can. But I just can't slow down fast enough for it. There's our stop sign. The stop sign showed up briefly. Oh my god, there's a goat. The goat is excited to see me. Does the goat show up on the map? <laughs> But yeah, uh, it was really difficult to get the speed as low as I needed to. So we just kind of zoomed past Becky. It did show up on the map briefly, but we just went past her anyway. In the US at the minute, I think the stop signs do make the car stop when it's on autopilot, but that doesn't happen here. The stop signs are purely just for visual purposes in this update. Someone else to see you. Here you go. You know, I don't have anything, I'm afraid. <laughs> right, eating the sign. Don't eat the sign. Oh my God, oh my God he's... <laughs> Becky, don't get. <laughs> Becky, don't let him eat the sun. <laughs> Hello. Becky's got the goat some grass. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Can you see a human? No, actually. Do this. Human? Oh, yeah, there you are. Alright, so now. Stop. Hey! Look at that. The stop sign is no human. So really oh, now you're both. Oh, you've gone again. Still there. No. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's there again. And now lift it down. It kind of moved. There's two of them. Two stop signs. Uh, yeah. So I guess because obviously the stop signs stay where they are. Now move a little bit that way then. Let's see how many stop signs. Right, we've got two still. Now move again. I'll need to go on more of on a bigger fence. Oh, this one's moving all over. No, you've only got one now. Oh, what? Oh, there's two again. Still two. Oh, there's three. Three? We've got three. Oh, it yes. One, two, three. Oh, there you are. Two. Two? Oh, we have three. Yeah, it's all gone downhill. <laughs> Two. 
two, one. <laughs> right, this is boring now. All right, we'll accept that three is the maximum that we can get. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh dear. Oh my god! Can any run over my foot? I can get in anytime I want. <laughs> oh my god. All right, there we go. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Three was our record for the stop signs that we could get there, but fair enough, no problem. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> really, really cool stuff though, these new visualizations. Um, I think it's fascinating how accurate they all are. And hopefully it's a good sign that Autopilot is just going to get more and more autonomous as, as these updates keep rolling out. So thanks for watching. We upload every Wednesday and Saturday at the moment. So if you're interested in Teslas, make sure to subscribe. And uh, every time there's a software update, we will do a video about it as well. So you can stay up to date. Thanks for watching. See you later. Oh, there's a wheelie bin. There's a wheelie bin. Sorry, I got rid of the wheelie bin. Where's he gone? Nice one. Where's the wh the wheelie bin's gone? Wait, wheelie bin. He'll come back. He'll come back. He'll come back. He'll come back. Wheelie bin. All right, cool.